Welcome to today's video, it's Wednesday and I'm gonna show you my workout on the side and I'm gonna talk about my cheat days, explain some stuff that came up in the comments lately. So, the main reason I do cheat days is to have fun with the kids. So we go out, we're having a blast, we try new foods, which is important. Like all those restaurants, I re look up on Google reviews or Yelp reviews, some of them are better or not. And I wanna try new ones because normally I don't go to restaurants. I haven't gone to restaurants really for a long time. Cheat is the only time I go to restaurants. And I wanna try out new foods, stuff that I know I like and maybe they make it better, different. That's why we go out and I, I look at in advance and all the stuff. It takes me like hours to find like stuff like that I think I might be eat. Getting all the macros right, if they have it on the website or not. But folks is trying out new stuff and I'm a really picky eater normally. But restaurant food. So, and the reason why, it's, why I say it's for me and the kids mainly to have fun is so we forget about our current life. I mean, just, have, just forget about all the stuff that we have going on and just have some fun time together. So that's part of the reasons. And then another reason is why my cheat days are out of control, control a little bit of over 20,000 calories is it helps me control my binge eating problem. And I'm, I already told you that multiple times I'm an emotional binge eater. It's not, not, not everything is perfect right now in my life. So that kind of helps me with that. As far as on like Fridays or, or Thursdays, Fridays, sometimes Saturdays, I run into a problem that I always have some small binge eating episodes. But this whole Sunday helps me like just go, go like full out and then just go back. And the reason why I say just go back into fasting and then eating regular is once I have a small portion of like sugar, like my binge eating stuff right now is just going on. I just kind of have like a little bit. Even with regular food, like I just go to town. Like I have this hunger feeling, it doesn't stop. Even if, if I, I can eat so much and my stomach feels full, I'm, I'm still hungry, it doesn't go away. So I'm running into a lot of problems, especially because of the Halo Top and Enlightened taste tests. Like I'm going through those pints like on my regular days like crazy. Ah. Uh, then the other other thing that uh, uh, came up for is my, uh, why am I eating it and if I don't like it. Like the reason is, it's money. Like I'll give you some examples. Like if you go to a restaurant and have multiple items like breakfast for instance is one or other, other like the burger place for instance or the Mission Barbecue. Like I spent between 20 and 30 dollars or a little bit more than that per meal. For me, money is tight. I just don't throw it just if I don't like it. If it's like really nasty or like upsets my stomach, like with a Cuban sa uh, sandwich part, I don't eat half, the other half. But if it's just like an okay taste, I don't really like it that much, I'm still gonna eat it. I don't have 30 dollars or cheat days are more, running probably a hundred or more. I don't have the money to waste. I don't have the money to throw it away. If I throw it away, I might, might be hungry eating other stuff. But other stuff, I don't have the money, sorry. And with my personality, I am even picking up a penny on the street. I, I don't technically don't allow my kids to throw money into the uh, fountains like they do for good luck here because I think it's a waste of money. So if I buy it, I try to eat it even if I don't like it. Unless it's something I know upsets my stomach, I get some uh, pain or whatever. I had some food with that. So that's the only time I, I, don't, I don't finish my food. And then another thing that came up with, I account for everything. Like if I eat ketchup, regular ketchup, barbecue sauce, syrups. If I if I have milk in my cereal, milk is part of the of part of my uh, the eating process. So I account for all the calories from everything. Some other YouTubers actually use like protein shakes. Why do that? I have I can I do that every single day when I'm not having my cheat day. Uh, but. Milk is a nice protein source and I'm using fat-free milk to not overindulge in calories. I would love to, for instance, have some soda on my cheat day. I might be doing that one of these days or like a Slurpee, but I would account for it. So that's why I haven't done it in uh, lately, uh, not at all on my cheat days, because I don't want to waste my calories on that because I would account for it. And the reason why I account for it is because of my, I always said before, my OCD part, I really want to know how many calories go in my body, how my body reacts, how I chop the weight afterwards, everything. I just need to know. And just uh, for video purposes, to take it back out, I don't, I don't care. I, I, I mean, if other YouTubers don't do it, I mean, 
good for them. I account for everything because at the end of the day, it's calories in, calories out. If you consume thousands of calories into in uh, liquids, uh, you still gonna be gaining weight. As simple as that. I uh, told them that multiple times. When in my heavy days, I drank a free two little bo bottles of Coca Cola a day or Pepsi for the matter, or any soda, regular one. So you guys can imagine how much I gained just from that. So I, but I limit my liquids except like for shake stuff and because it's stuff I love and I never have otherwise on cheat days. But it's stuff, stuff I love, ice cream and all that stuff. So next, uh, next thing is talking about my next cheat day. So I, I am actually had last cheat day on Sunday. If you follow me on my social media, you would know it. I had this amazing find and I really won it again. So I'm a little bit torn. I have to decide, but at this point, I think I'm gonna have my next cheat day cereal only, just for reasons I've I have uh, had some bad experiences. I want something like easy. I don't have to I don't have to track. I could just scan the barcode in and everything else, and I make it a challenge. How many how many pounds of cereal can I eat in, in a day? Almost 24 hours. I think it's gonna be a fantastic cheat day, but I don't know yet if I'm gonna keep it because the one item I had the last time. It was amazing and it's not a cereal and I have to drive there to get it but I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. I have to see. And then I thought about the following um, the following uh, cheat day that would be casual cheat day number 13 would be just frozen and uh, or uh, refrigerated food or, or canned food from the grocery store. I have some stuff in my freezer that I need to get rid of and I can't eat it during my non-cheat days because they're like, I think the one's American flatbread or some new like pizza type they had at, at Publix or grocery store. I bought it, I need to get rid of it. Get rid of it. I have two of them in the freezer, I need the space. I have other stuff, I can buy some other stuff. There's some amazing looking ones there. For instance, they have strawberry croissants and stuff like that. I like love croissants, for instance, with Nutella. That might be an idea to get uh, get all the stuff. It make, makes my life easier just to scan stuff in and see what it is without putting everything originally in. And all the other thing is the money thing as well. I know those two videos most are gonna be popular. People are not gonna like it, but at least the serial one is like, as, uh, like on the forefront because I literally have 13 boxes here and I wanna get rid of it at least like, I would assume I'm gonna eat at least 10 or 11 boxes. So I have more space. So the rest is talk about my workouts. I have PRs last week. It's going like really nice. This week is keeps on continuing with that. The weight was fairly fast. The only issue I have is a little bit of back pain, but unrelated to working out, it was related to yard work and sleeping, kind of sleeping problem. I, I hardly sleep. I wake up multiple times in an, unco an uncomfortable position. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need a new mattress. But all this stuff combined, I just woke up with uh, like a lot of back, lower back pain only on one side, with the holding the trimmer and all this stuff. Anyways, unrelated. So that's the only only issue I have with all this stuff. I noticed the day to day was deadlift, uh, but other than that, it is amazing time. So that is, I think, my updates for now for this video. You saw my workout with PRs. Like everything was either five or ten pounds more. It is so much fun. My last video, for some apparent reason, this Monday released one didn't work out as far as far as like views or getting new subscribers. So I'm kind of a little bit uh, bummed about that in some of the comments. That's why I made this video to address some of the questions. So again, I account for everything I eat. If it's calories, except if it's diet, so are the couple of calories I, I neglect or something else. But on the, at the end of the day, you have to realize all the all the food I buy in restaurants and all the stuff. It's never accurate anyway, so they don't make the right portions and everything. Frozen stuff, it might be easier, but it's a totally different subject matter I don't want to get into. So hopefully, follow me on my social media, the plug for that right here. You will see my next cheat day and how, what I decide what I'm gonna do. I right now, it's most like a cereal, but as I said, one item. If you want my social media, you would already know it. It is, was so amazing, so good. And you guys know how picky I am because I always give, give bad ratings. So that alone wants me to change that into normal eating and just getting that item at least one of it. But I don't know yet. So Friday will be another cheat day. Sebastian and I, we, before he started school, he started school like on Monday, um, we bought some new items at Walmart. The only time I go to Walmart is to get new uh, snack items. So we have some new ones. We have to tr taste test in two days for Friday's video. I have to start editing the other videos. So guys, 
I'm rambling on as always, make it a little bit longer, but I just want to address like all those things that a little bothered me a little bit, a little bit. And as I said, like the cheat days are fun. They help me with my binge eating because my life is not that great at this moment. So I have control over that. Having just one focus day instead of having multiple days of Kogumov and calories is way easier for, for, for me or for my body to adjust to it. Once I get over that, it's going to be a totally different ball game, but it's just a fun thing for me and the kids. Anyways, guys, stay healthy, train hard, and see you guys hopefully on, in Friday's video for our taste test. Worst case, next Monday for casual cheat day number 11, which is not the cheat day one, it's the one I had last Sunday, which I've said it right now. So guys, bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.